Do you like goofs? Do you like yucks or hijinks maybe? Well, if you do, check out Stool Pigeon the Podcast from Coal Town Radio, an improv and storytelling comedy show. It's got a rotating cast of some of Austin's finest and most physically attractive improv comedians, making it all up on the spot, inspired by true stories from a different storyteller each week. The stories are true. The improv is made up. Stool Pigeon the Podcast. Real stories, real fun, real good, most of the time. Okay, listen up, everybody. It sounds as if the night is starting to wind down. It's been good meeting you, seeing some old friends and so forth. Remember, sorting is coming up soon. The kid, God bless her, was dressed as a cute princess and seems to have scored a lot of us tonight. So the- Wait, hold up. Who the fuck put you in charge, Candy Corn? Why the fuck are we listening to you? Because I'm the goddamn face of Halloween, Snickers. Most of you are all year-round treats, and this is my time. You ever hear of a Santa giving candy corn in a stocking? I know if I put a wick in your ass, I could use you as a candle, you waxy fuck. Whoa, people, people, settle down. Stay focused. Put your best side up. The sorting is serious business. Oh, God, it's the freaking three musketeers. Listen, Snickers, you can act as cocky as you like. Not all of us get our own craving commercials. Please. Wake up and smell the nougat, Snickers. This is serious. Some of us may end up in the meh pile and end up in next year's candy bowl. Well, that's just our DNA, isn't it? I mean, look at baby Ruth over there. He's delicious, sure. But he looks like a turd. No use crying over it. You just got to roll with it. I'll have you know, I'm an American candy bar made of peanuts, caramel, and milk chocolate flavored nougat covered in compound chocolate you're a tasty turd and that's it don't you worry though you'll get eaten tonight not like our hippie friend red delicious over here i'm surprised she wasn't thrown back at that bug-eyed beatnik's house definitely getting passed over Uh, eaten or not tonight i am actually the only one here truly alive throw me out and my seeds live on to sprout, to grow the eternal cycle of life. Shut up! up! (sighs) (sighs) What in the hell? Where are we? Well, I can tell you this isn't my first spook fest. I've been unopened for four years now. We're getting the old x-ray treatment at the hospital. (laughs) Any of you maniacs got a little toxic surprise for our trick-or-treater? Please. Let's not even think about that kind of thing. You're such a wuss, Muskie. So inoffensive. So unlikable. Wait, what's going on with that apple? Can an apple sweat? (laughs) It wasn't my idea. Oh, shit. We got a real psycho. She's got a fucking blade in her. No, no, it wasn't my idea. That old hippie. That's crazy. What, What happens now? Hard to say, kid. Sometimes they throw out a whole bag of candy if there's a rotten, well, you know. That hippie red delicious bitch. Settle down, Muskie. She wasn't born that way. Just set up as a patsy by a Halloween fruitcake. This holiday seems to bring the freaks out. Listen, if we don't make it to the sorting, I want you all to know I love you. I love you too, baby Ruth. Sorry for calling you a tasty turd earlier. But wait, I, I think the princess's blubbering is doing the trick. We're not going to get thrown out after all. Oh, hooray, hooray. Back to the sorting. All right, you knuckleheads. We dodged a bullet there. Let's hope we all meet again later in this kid's stomach. What comes after that, Mr. Corn? Who knows, kid? but I'm sure it's a better place than here. Thanks for shopping with me, Wolfman. Wolfman friend. Don't mention it, Frank. Us monsters gotta stick together when we do monster stuff. Halloween, only day I go out. People stare. Angry mobs chase me. You're lucky. You look normal most time. Full moon is enemy. When will people learn that we're just like them? 
I can't help it if I was attacked by a wolf and now lust for blood at every full moon. Speak your truth, brother. Truth good. Thank you. And you can't help it if a crazed German scientist dug up bodies, stitched you together, and injected life back into your cobbled together corpse. I am who I am. Can't change past. Prejudice bad. Exactly. We're more than just our origin story. Yes. I thank Dr. Frankenstein for penis. Penis huge. I've seen it. That thing is a monster unto itself. Don't know if it was first penis he found or happy accident. Would ask if hadn't thrown him off windmill. Don't sweat it. I'm a monster. You're a monster with a monster penis. Mm -hmm. All monsters somehow. We are what we make of it. Okay, so what exactly are you looking for today? Shoes. Look at feet. These platform boots got in 70s. Soles worn down. Look like regular boots. Huh. I always thought I was getting taller. Didn't realize that's what was going on. Been looking for decades. They don't make platform footwear like did in 70s. 70s good. Oh, yeah. The 70s were a great time. Remember all those parties that Dracula used to have? So much drugs. Monster Coke. Good. Hey, Frank, why don't we check out this piercing shop? The 70s were a good time, but we should really try to update your looks so you'll stop scaring the locals. Nice costumes, guys. You really got the retro look down. <laughs> Thanks. But we're actually hoping to update my friend's look. Okay, okay. So what are you thinking? Want to update the Frankenstein look? Hmm. How about adding a nose piercing? Or, or maybe implant some spikes on his forehead, yeah. Those are all amazing ideas, but I think we'll keep it simple. What do you have for neck bolts? Oh, shit, dude. Those are huge. Those must be like 50 gauge or something. Uh, we don't have anything that big. I have 50 gauge penis. Penis good. Uh, calm down, Frank. Okay. Then you have something that can make them look cool? Uh, well, uh, we have these tiny magnetic LEDs we can stick on them. Hey, that might work. Throw them on there and let's see how it looks. Okay. All right. Got this side. All right. Now this side. All right. They're sound activated, so you just clap your hands and it'll fire up. Fire? Fire bad! Whoa, Frank. Frank, calm down. Calm down. Wait, fire! Fire bad! Dude, you're just spinning around wrecking my shit. Oh, oh man, I just got that display case. Run, Frank, run! Hey, hey, come back! You guys are gonna have to pay for all my shit you broke! Oh, fucking monsters! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Frank. <laughs> we can stop now. <laughs> I think we got far enough away. Oh, that was some bullshit. You totally trashed that shop. <sighs> We're monsters. Sometimes we do monster shit. And look here, a new hole in boot. Wow. Okay. I guess updating your look isn't going to work. Let's just stick with getting some shoes. But I don't know where we'll get giant platforms unless you want some stripper heels. Triple heels good. Hi guys, Katie Stone here. I am a copywriter and comedian living with a mood disorder in Los Angeles, California. I am Lane Ingram, comedy performer and therapist here in Austin, Texas. And we are the hosts of Yeah But Are You Happy, a weekly podcast talking about the intersection of mental health and creativity. We have a lot of fun discussing really heavy topics in a way that is fun and accessible to our audience. And we're really excited by the community we've collected to be asking us questions and interacting every week. Check us out here on Cold Town Radio every week and at twitch.tv slash coldtowntv every Wednesday.
See you guys soon. Welcome, welcome. Please, please have a seat. Um, my name is Chauncey Dubois. I'm the medium that will help you live large after your death. Is this your first time for afterlife services? Hi, yes, thank you. My name is Stella, and this is my husband, Rick. We're newlyweds, and we just want to make sure that we can spend eternity together. Yes, we've promised we'd be together forever. The wills are written. We've got our plots earlier today, and we just want to make sure we don't leave anything out. Well, you've come to the right place. Eternity is our specialty. So, have you discussed what types of plan you would like to have for the first one of you who goes? So, if I go first, I want to be able to put pennies in random places so he knows I'm still with him. And if I go first, I want to be able to make a rainbow to show her that I still love her and am watching over her. Oh, okay, okay. So you're interested in the basic ghost package. It's our most affordable package. Um, but there are lots of pennies and rainbows in the world. It is our most popular package after all. If you really love each other, you'll want to maybe get a more specialized package. Of course, there's nothing we wouldn't do to be together forever. What other packages are out there? I'm glad you asked. What most people don't understand is that if you don't plan ahead, your afterlife manifestations are left up to chance, if you can manifest at all. If you don't have a plan in place, your living loved ones will forever pine for you and always wonder if you really loved them. Of course I love her. She's the love of my life for eternity. Splendid. Then you may be interested in one of our deluxe packages. We have packages where you can inhabit the body of another living person. For our basic deluxe, you can inhabit a medium and interact physically with your living loved ones for a short period of time. Ooh, I like that idea. Sounds super sexy. Yes, that is a popular package, <laughs> uh, but some feel that dim mediums are hard to come by and, and skilled mediums are often old, wrinkly crones. <laughs> Present company accepted, of course. Um, well, as long as you're still you, uh, what else do you have? Excellent question. The premium deluxe package allows you to inhabit any living body to interact with your living loved ones. This is a little pricier, but it is also our highest rated package. Oh, that's the one we want. Oh, honey, let's get that one. You get the paperwork started and I'm going to go freshen up. Okay, hon. Okay, Miss Dubois, let's get down to brass tacks. I love that woman and I don't want anyone to be with her after I'm gone. She's mine forever. What do you have in the way of straight-up haunting that I can use to scare away her suitors? Ah, yes. All right, what you want is the Platinum Plus Poltergeist Package. This is the most popular package with jealous, uh, <coughs> dedicated spouses. It allows you to haunt anyone near your loved one to scare them away. The beauty of it is that the living loved one just thinks that everyone else is crazy because you can do your poltergeisting when she's not around. Just drive her suitors crazy and she'll think she just has bad taste in men. <laughs> perfect. Oh, hi, hon. This is perfect. We're just about set here. Thank you so much, Mrs. Dubois. I think we have an agreement. Now, I should probably use the restroom, too, before we hit the road. Stella, just finish filling out the paperwork, darling. Okay, good. He's gone. Now, Miss Dubois, I know Rick can be a little possessive of me. It's cute and charming and all that, but I don't think I could deal with it forever. I really just want to be able to live my life. Absolutely. What you want is the Emerald Elite Voodoo Package. With this package, you can trap his eternal ghost into any object. We do offer a variety of voodoo dolls, stuffed animals, or for an extra fee, <laughs> highly recommended. 
We can customize a lifelike miniature doll in the likeness of your dearly departed. We have on retainer the premier Haitian witch doctor, Jean-Christophe de Croix. He's one of my closest living friends and confidants. I trust him with my life and beyond. Okay, honey, are we all set? I think so. Thank you so much, Mr. Bois. Oh, you are so very welcome. Don't forget, we also have gift packages. Uh, just remember, those who receive the gift packages won't know that they are ghosts. These are perfect as revenge for your enemies and those who have done you wrong. And remember, every fifth referral is worth a free summoning for those departed who did not employ our services prior to their death. And the sixth referral allows you to inhabit Kevin Bacon. Greetings, students of Gingrich High. The election to decide whether to recall student body president Hanako is upon us. The first question on the ballot is a yes or no on whether President Hanako should be recalled. The second question is who, in the event of a recall, should replace her. Let's hear from some of our candidates. I'm Logan Eichelman, also known as the guru of PE, and I'm here to save Gingrich High. Hanako is destroying a school that was once a beacon of hope and prosperity. I'm Jaden Cabot, and I will make the big beastly changes Gingrich High needs. You may know me as the guy who brought a bear to school. That's right, a real live bear. I'm Derek Jameson, and I represent the average student at Gingrich High. I'm not the most popular, the most smart, the most athletic, or the most creative. I'm Millie Bobby Brown. Hanako is a hypocrite for telling everyone to stay home and study for finals when she was out partying with the popular kids without even looking at a study guide once. I bring something different to the table. How cool do you have to be to get a bear into school, you may ask? I bet nobody else in the school even knows how to get a hold of a wild animal. I'm not a part of a sports team. I didn't get a head start in Spanish classes in middle school. I don't do extracurriculars. Yes, that Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things. While students are starving for snack options at our vending machines, kids in detention have access to free water and snacks under Hanako's administration. Please vote out Queen Hanako and vote in the guru, Logan Eichelman. As an outsider to student politics, I will claw my way through the red tape of school bureaucracy and shake things up. Vote Jaden the Bear Guy Cabot. <laughs> uh, what I'm trying to say is that I'm just an average guy with common sense. Common sense isn't so common these days, am I right? So vote Derek Jameson, the normal choice. You know who I am. Those were the four candidates who chose to pay for a statement this morning. Vote next Tuesday for your choice out of the 46 candidates. Remember that if the vote passes to recall President Hanako, the person with the most votes of these people will replace her. Yes, no matter how few people actually vote for them, one of these idiots could be your next president. Gonna make a sandwich cause it's Sandwich Tuesday. Only making one cause there's no reason for two, hey. <sighs> Hello? Is somebody there? Because mm -hmm, the sandwich Tuesday. Stop, please stop. If you're out there, just show yourself. Stop tormenting me. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. Oh, thank God, not alone. <gasps> what? 
I'm so happy you're here. I've been pretty lonely since Tiffany left. Who's Tiff? Oh, actually, wait, I feel like I should avoid that question. Listen, I'm an actual ghost. I'm dead. Look, I can remove my head. <laughs> That's okay. I'm dead, too. On the inside. Oh, wow. Um, uh, I just remembered I double booked hauntings tonight. I'm really sorry, but I have to go. No, no, wait, wait, don't leave. You were just about to scare me. Uh, 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 what are you? Who are you? Uh, uh, see, you're almost there. I feel like I'm almost so scared. All right. Uh, feel the fiery heat of hell. That's it. Stare into the flames of your fireplace as if they were a portal to hell. <sighs> Tiffany and I were the last ones to use that fireplace. Ugh, you're killing me, dude. Oh, sorry. I meant, ah, please don't burn me. Ouch, it hurts. Ah, the flames hurt so bad. Oh, it hurt. It hurts so bad. It's so bad. Why did she leave me? Tiffany! This isn't working for me. Hold on. I've heard ghosts can inhabit your body and control your actions. Can you do that? Yeah, but I'm not going inside you, buddy. I know you're lonely and all, but that's not the play. No, Tiffany, you could possess her and bring her back here. I can make her my signature dish, baked craft Mac and Wieners. And once she sees I've changed, she'll take me back for sure. And if she doesn't, maybe you and I could work out a living arrangement. I'm sure you've missed having a body. God knows I have. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know I'm the ghost here, but that idea is going to haunt me forever. <laughs> okay, okay. We don't have to do that, but please don't leave. We can do something you like. How about we head to a pottery studio and you can Patrick Swayze me? Uh, that is actually extremely offensive to my culture. Do you want me to get naked while you shower me with your ectoplasm? <laughs> Has anyone ever wanted to do anything remotely like that with you? Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany! <laughs> Guess I floated into that one. Da, da. Ghosty and lonely, ghosty and lonely. One is haunting and the other one's haunted by sadness. It's ghostly and lonely. Oh. Mm, that is truly disturbing. Excuse me, young man. May I please ask of you a question? Welcome to Spooky Town. Can I help you find anything? Yes, yes, most certainly. Okay, then. What you need? Costume for you? Grandkid, maybe? How about some makeup? Yes, yes. You see, I have been asked just now to attend this gathering, which requires a bit of masquerade, you see. Also, I would normally have access to many appropriate costumes and wardrobe options back home. I fear I'm but a weary traveler caught with the, his proverbial trousers draped sadly about his lower legs. I see. Okay, let's start with the mask. Ah, yes. The mask is very important. It hides, if only briefly, our all too familiar countenance and displays to the outside world perhaps a more true self than we ourselves may be willing to admit. Or better yet, and hear me out, what about a giant high dog? Oh, yes. Becoming a Frankfurter would be quite intriguing. I would think it quite unexpected to parade around my guest's own home as a large, ostensibly edible phallus. Yeesh. Okay. Well, it's right over here. There you go. 
for being so helpful. I, and I apologize. What is your name, if you don't mind revealing that about yourself? Oh, no, not at all. I'm Roy. Roy, yes, well, Roy. I must say, you certainly turned on the tap that is the wellspring of my creative flow. I'm wondering if you might indulge my excesses a bit further, yes? Um, sure. Perfection. Now, what I feel my Frankfurter needs is a dichotomy, a way to display our fragility despite an outward appearance of aggressive masculinity. Okay, I'm listening. What does every Frankfurter need in order to be consumed? I don't know. I like ketchup and stuff. Exactly, Roy. Exactly. Catsup. But Roy. But. And here is where my madness takes hold, Roy. Instead of red ketchup, perhaps the phallus is smeared with red blood. Yes. Oh, yes. Fake blood. Sure. Here's a tube of vampire blood. It's mostly corn syrup, so you can eat it. A Frankfurter eating its own blood. That has many layers to it, Roy. Many layers. Yes, well, it's on sale. And I'll warn you, it does taste a little like dog poopies. I may be German, Roy, but I think indulging my Wiener costume in Schiesenspielen may be too much for my American hosts. You know, I have a friend who has seen that on the internet. I'm personally not a fan. All for the best. Tell me, Roy, have you any experience in the performing arts or the cinema? Oh, yeah. Love movies. You like the MCU stuff? Tight. Ah, yes. The MCU collaborations tap into the primal truths of storytelling akin to the odes to the Greek gods. I must applaud these films for giving you, Roy, such a unique command of visual metaphor and theme. I would encourage you, Roy, to pursue further study. Consider it done. Now, can I ring you up over here? Of course, of course. Capitalist interests must take precedent here. No matter how much we may wish to indulge our borderline bacchanalian revelries in the pursuit of artistic expression. Um, do you take cash? Oh, no, sir. Only card. Ah, see. Yeah. Then here you go, Roy. My life's work reduced to a sheet of plastic. And here you are, your card and receipt. Enjoy being a bloody hot dog. Oh, I will revel in my excesses. My Frankfurter disguise will be one of legend told in the artistic circles of this town for centuries to come. Yeah, see you now. <laughs> Roy, Roy, dude, do you know who that was? Yeah, that's Werner Herzog. The dude's probably just, I don't know, lonely, you know? I've sold him the same hot dog costume like three years in a row now. It's a little sad at this point. Well, if anyone's going to be sad and lonely, it's fucking Werner Herzog. 